Greetings and welcome to Phasmophobia. This episode we'll be doing a uh, Willow Street house on Professional. Owner called this morning, sounds like a dangerous ghost. So let's jump in here and see if we can't quickly locate and identify a ghost. So I know my Phasmo episodes have probably been pretty quick lately, uh, and I've been skipping a lot of the optional objectives. That's mainly because I've been pretty rushed lately, but I think I'm starting to get a handle on my schedule. Okay, I'll take this one. So I probably will be able to do a little bit more... Oh, caught that one. A little bit more um, detailed episodes. And probably go back to shooting for most of the... Uh, well, we're in. Optionals. And remember to check the whiteboard for help. We've had no reports of violence, but keep an eye out. Okay, we're dealing with the Karen. Um, smudge sticks, witness a uh, ghost event, and photo of a ghost. I can do all of those easily. Uh, well, maybe not the photo of the ghost easily, but or, or even the witness an event, because this one, no reports of violence means less likely to do an event. But we'll try, and we'll push for it if necessary. The smudge sticks should be fairly easy. Alright, so the breaker is in the same place it has been almost every time I've played this game. Uh, or played this map. So let's see, let's go in with the old standby of EMF and photo camera. And see, I keep wanting to go out that way. I'm so used to pulling up to the houses the other way. Alright, so we're going to see if we can't get that breaker on. Oh, this door opened this way. Or did I do a dumb move and forget the key? I think I did the dumb move. Yep, there it is. I think the keys are color-coded to map size. I think the small maps are all that uh, pinkish red rose, I guess, is the shade. All quiet on the western front. Thought I saw a bone on the table. Down into the belly of the beast we go. Can you give us a sign? I'll take that as well. My phone just buzzed. That's weird. Ask the ghost for a sign and somebody sends me a text message. I don't know why I walked into the room. I could have seen from the doorway there was no bone or Ouija board in there. If you can play Ring Around the Rosie with the ghost, since you're constantly breaking line of sight with furniture. Alright, you played with this door. I just heard your footstep! You're not a phantom! And you have freezing temperatures! All right, let's go get some evidence gathering. Is this the right light switch? Uh, you know, I should have kept the camera and done a sweep for a bone real quick. But we know we can cancel out Phantom right away. 
did not disappear when I took a photo of it. My phone is going off the hook. Stop that. Whoever is texting me, stop. I'm in the middle of a video session. I had turned that light on, I thought. Oh, no, no, no. Not that room. The main room is one I have on. I did not flip the switch for this room. Yeah, that room is on. This one, I did not turn on. Alright, so we have the garage, and I have not seen a bone yet. One of my daily challenges was collect bone evidence, too. That's unsettling that I'm not going to find it, unless I overlooked it somehow. All right, so we have a freezing temperature ghost, and it is not a phantom. I, is phantom freezing temperature? Let's see. I can't remember. Yes, so it's a wraith, banshee, mare, you die. Bunch of things, but not a phantom. So we can rule out phantom right away. And we did get two of them, so we need to smudge. Sanity is down a little bit. Um, I'm actually going to check for fingerprints, since I have a photo camera in there. Um, ghost Orb will rule out several ghosts, whether I find one or not. But I'm going to have to bring in multiple cameras or keep adjusting this one to get a full view of this room. But we'll start with this angle. You played with many doors. And we have a fingerprint ghost. We have a banshee, I'm pretty sure. No trolling me. And I probably already had a fingerprint photo, come to think of it. Because I took a photo of that door trying to get an interaction photo. And I didn't bother to check it. I could have saved myself having to bring in the fingerprint evidence. Uh, I mean, the UV light. If I had bothered to go through my photos. Let's see. Fingerprints is three this way. Nope. It's three the other way. So we are down to Banshee or Wraith. Um, spirit Box. Ghost Orb isn't a possibility. Spirit Box, Ghost Riding. Nope, I did get interaction the first time and not fingerprints, so I have gotten a decent amount of photos. But yeah, we need... Uh, no, it's EMF5 or Spirit Box. So yeah, Ghost Orb isn't even a possibility. We have narrowed it down to two, one of which is extremely dangerous, and that is the Banshee, especially in a room that you can constantly break line of sight in. Uh, so what we need is just a spirit box. But let's take a crucifix, just in case it's a Banshee. No. Forget the crucifix. Let's take a smudge stick and get it to the door. That way, if it triggers a hunt, what I will do, see what we're going to do is yeet a smudge stick into the lobby. Or the, the, I guess that would be the living room. Yeah, yeet a smudge stick in there and carry a lighter. That way, if a hunt starts, I can drop the spirit box or whatever else I'm carrying if I've already dropped the spirit box and try and make my way up here to grab that and repel the ghost if it comes after me. Where 
where are you? We have our ghost identified. It is not a banshee, so I don't have to worry about hunts right now. So what we are going to do is go upstairs, get our smudge stick, go ahead and smudge, because that is our last objective. That will calm the ghost down some. Anyway. Now we are going to have to check and see if it was in the radius when we did this. That wasn't what you triggered. You triggered the breaker. All right. Well, I believe we've got everything we need. So let's see. Yep, we have a wraith. Oh, we did get another fingerprint photo. We didn't find a bone or a Ouija board, though. That was disappointing. So, I'm not quite done. I want to do a sweep of the house again. Uh, let's go ahead and get a fresh camera. And... Let's top off our sanity, because I'm going to be in there for a bit. What else do I need to take to find what I'm looking for? Really don't need to take anything. Um, yeah, I don't really need to take anything else. I don't play with these often enough. <laughs> so let's take one of these. Give us a nice little glow. Can a candle would have been another option. But this will give us a nice little glow as we go through the house. Double check for bones or Ouija boards. See if there's any place I overlooked. I don't think I checked behind the car. Normally they're in the middle of the room, but let's just be thorough. And I'm not sure where a Ouija board could be. I hear you playing with stuff downstairs. Yeah, I'm not that familiar with... I had never even looked in this room, did I? There's no bone in here. check this room. Can't remember if there was a closet. There's not. Oh, that's right. This house has no closets or lockers. This was the one designed around blocking line of sight with furniture. I'm still curious, do I have to fully block line of sight? Or could I be crouching behind the desk and peeking over it and still be hidden? I'm not sure. Um, where does it, if it, if it has to have line of sight to my center of my body or any point of my body? Pretty sure I've done a thorough sweep of this room. But the way these are, I think it's any part of your body um, 
if it was any part of your body, you couldn't hide on those. And you'd actually have a hard time hiding on these, possibly. Nope, nope, that breaks complete line of sight. Alright, lights are back on. So long, and thanks for all the fish. Eh, not that there was any fish here. So there was no bone or Ouija board in this house. Which means that is uh, $30 I could not get. So 205 will be the max. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be getting that. Yeah, no bone or Ouija board there. I forgot to see if I could get some more fingerprint photos. But I'm pretty sure I'm maxed out at 25 or 30 in photos. If I get all the way up to 30 with the photos I took, um, I will actually get uh, um, 220. And let's make sure, yep, we have Wraith in, so let's head out and see our statistics. Uh, 25 in photos, so 205, just like I had called. There was no bone evidence to collect, so that's the maximum, excuse me, I could have gotten on this map. Uh, gained a couple levels. Spent about equal time in light and dark, only three minutes in the ghost room compared to my time inside. One event. Alrighty, well thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.